As always, a big Spider-Man 2 update also comes with a ton of secret changes that Insomniac did not tell us about. So let's run down all we found so far, starting with a brand new brute finisher for Miles. You see footage here from Deedwin on Reddit, where Miles drops the enemy down and then walks over him and then finishes the job. But actually, while playing myself in New Game Plus, I also triggered this early on. And I don't think I've seen it before. So pretty cool that this finisher now shows up in the game. They also secretly changed some suits. David in the comments under my previous video noted that the anti-ox suit from the first game had this weird white cube on the chest in Spider-Man 2 that has now been removed. And the suit looks a bit darker now. So basically like it did in Spider-Man 1. Which is way cooler. So a great change. We also got secret changes for the upgraded classic suit as noted by Lucky Timothy in the comments. For one you see the webs way more clearly on the suit now and they also changed the colors for this one a bit so it's more similar to what we see in the homecoming movie and if you watched our big update video that we did a bit earlier then you of course know that they also secretly changed the Raimi suit to also make that more similar to how it looks in the movies not only suits from Peter but also Harry's agent Venom suit got an upgrade because first when you would encounter him after saving Tombstone during the main mission he would not have the spider symbol on his chest like during during this part of the story he could of course show up during crimes when playing Miles or Peter but again he had just the black chest while at the end of that mission Peter and Harry kind of merge so Harry gets the symbol. Well now after the update he does have the spider symbol during crimes as found by Dragon Spider so a really great change. In Spider-Man Remastered one of the photo ops was for Alias Investigations, a Jessica Jones easter egg of course. Well at one point the sign next to the door changed to a homeless sign and this by the way is still the case if you go here in Spider-Man Remastered. So this was also the case in Spider-Man 2. But if you go to this location on the map right now. You will see the alias investigations sign again. And GGB Corn in the comments noted that you can now change the background swing music. Between the background music for Act 1, 2 and 3. And yes if you go to settings and then to audio. And scroll all the way down to music. You can now switch between these three tracks. So go back to the very ominous Act 3 sound when the symbiotes were taking over New York. Which really changes the feel of the game a bit. Like I don't think this was in the game before or I at least did not know about it. It can only activate it after beating the main story and so it's not immediately available in New Game Plus. And of course if you liked the video so far leaving a like would really help me out and subscribe for way more Spider-Man 2 videos like this. And they also did not tell us about the fact that they changed or removed some fun glitches and tactics you could first do. Like if you would after catching a bird drone during the hunter blind try and trigger Miles' ultimate they could get this really cool glow afterwards while if you try this now it sadly doesn't work anymore and maybe you remember the glitch during the symbiote nest activity where for some reason if you would switch to a symbiote suit with Peter the mission would auto complete and you could skip the whole encounter well now after the update if you try and switch outfits with Peter you will see a brand new message Peter's suit cannot be swapped during this mission and Miles' suit can still be swapped. So that's certainly a way to fix it. So interesting that they did this instead of removing the effect symbiote suits have on a symbiote nest. There was also this trick where if you would go to this spot on the map and then get hit by the train you could force yourself out of the map and then explore out of bounds areas and for some reason someone inside Insomniac designed landmarks for this area while we could have never seen them without this glitch. Well they removed this in a rather interesting way because you can now die from the train. Like one time I glitched like this but I could not get out of bounds. And the other times I tried this Spider-Man would simply die from being hit. And I don't recall this being the case before. Of course correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Remember how you could change the time of day before the big patch. And even add rain to the game if you would go to a Mysterium. And then when in the green portal go to the map. Hit triangle on the Mysterium icon and then replay the activity then you would see the countdown hit abandon challenge and bam you were outside during night for example well if you try this now so walk into a mysterium portal and then go to the map to that mysterium icon it says that fast travel is unavailable until current mission or call is complete so that's how they remove this but of course not that big of a deal because now after finishing the main story you can just go to the settings to instantly change the time of day yourself something that also does not work anymore is fly real high so you could get close to planes and get a really great top-down view of the city 
So for this, you need the spider jump skill and the aerial escapades. Because then, by performing air tricks, you can use the spider jump quickly again. But what they now secretly change is that the higher you get in the sky, the more air tricks you need to get the spider jump back. And you see it here. First, I needed around 4 seconds. Then it goes up to 6. And then even to 8. So you cannot go as high as before. It's still a really good XP farm though. Which is now handy to get the new suit styles in New Game Plus. Still really awesome that they added this because I really like the new suit styles. So to quickly recap how you do this, launch yourself from a high building with L2 and X and then immediately do the spider jump. Now only hold a square and mesh triangle, like don't move the analog stick and then you will get the spider jump back really quickly, immediately activate it when it's available and then quickly hold square and mesh triangle again. Now every second time you launch yourself with the spider jump, you want to wait a bit before you hold square again so you collect the max XP and then rinse and repeat. And you will find a link in the video description to my previous video about this tactic for if you need more help. But yeah, this is totally a quick way to get all those new suit styles in New Game Plus. Although I would argue that it's of course more fun to just replay the game again in New Game Plus and get the suits that way. Jasha Shade on Reddit did everything in New Game Plus already and actually figured out that you can't get all the upgrades in one New Game Plus playthrough so you have to do a second one. So good to focus on the suit tech first because that actually gives you new bonuses while the golden gadgets are just a visual effect that is fine I guess but nothing of course too exciting. Now the update also caused some issues, like you probably noticed it, but if you activate the Rage Mode in New Game Plus, then you won't see the Symbiote suit, but just the suit you are currently wearing. While the symbiote suit based on the tendril color should of course take over the current suit you're wearing for the duration of the effect. Also the eyes of the Amazing 2 suits really don't look that great after the patch but luckily Insomniac already says that they are aware and looking into it and they've also noted community requests. So I hope they are looking into the fact that we want to be able to parry with our spider arms again as Peter. Like a toggle similar to the tendril colors would be great because now in New Game Plus you can never use the spider arms as a parry again. When we know more about future editions including free DLC that is seemingly coming we will of course let you know so subscribe to not miss it. A like on the video would be super appreciated and another secret change we already talked about in our previous big update video that you can watch by clicking on the screen is the fact that you can now change the suit damage in the photo mode which is really cool and of course if you made any cool pictures you can share them in the dedicated pictures channel on my discord. Link to that in the pinned comment, accept the rules and then you can post and then maybe Joyce the photobot expert will select them for a future video. Joyce come in. Yes what's up everyone first up is a zam where we see Peter chilling on top of a cab next to of course an advertisement of New York City pizza even matching the colors with the updated wetsuit awesome. Next up is Chent X where Miles is ready to give Spider-Man the cat a hug in one of the Spider-Verse suits. Wonder if he's up for that imagine how fluffy that would be. But my favorite and definitely very creative is from Creed674 who found a bunch of cash and put Miles on top of it. Looks like Miles kept the money for himself after he stopped the crime. Great shot. <laughs> Yeah, nice. And the suit really works here as well. So, of course, if you got more action figure shots or other shots, send them our way. Maybe we'll be in the next video. And, of course, check out our big update video by clicking on the screen with things that they actually said they added into the game. For now, we will speak to you soon. Goodbye. Bye.